here from lasertechguys.com recently well rather about a year ago we supported and backed a kickstarter project called quick drop and just recently they finally got the product into production and out of the assembly line and into our hands it's simply another tool for photographers using canon or nikon cameras whether you're an amateur like myself or a professional trey radcliffe out there and um it just basically allows you to swap between lenses or glass um, a lot quicker than having to rummage through your bag. So if, if you've ever been in the situation, you have your camera and you're like, okay, well, I, I need to get that shot, but I have to change the lenses. Don't drop your camera. So you take the first piece of glass off and then hopefully you have your bag by you or even if you do, you still have to find your lens. Even if you have it in a specific compartment, you have to zip open and find that nifty 50. Take the safety cap off the back and then place it back on to the camera and continue shooting. In that 10 second, 15 second time frame, there's a possibility you lost the shot you can never recreate ever, ever again. What Quick Draw allows you to do is basically have all of your glass within arm's reach. Where? On your belt. This is Quick Draw. And this might not look like anything right now, but essentially this hardened plastic section here goes on the belt and this aluminum, rather aircraft grade aluminum is what holds your glass or your lens. And it actually uses the same locking mechanism that you would use when, with the camera. So just how you line up the white line with the point on the camera, I'm not sure what it's called, but how you line up those two together, that's what you would do here with the little dot on the quick draw. So you line that up, turn, and as you can see when you turn it, the whole locking mechanism turns with it. And then this bends, but it's never gonna fall out. The zoom <laughs> itself might Zoom in, zoom out, but the lens is never gonna fall out. Let me just show you what it would look like when it's on your side. All right, so this is quick draw on my belt right here and it's locked in there. Uh, best case scenario, you'd have at least three of these. So you'd have maybe one for the zoom uh, kit, nifty 50, maybe one on the other side. Uh, however many that you can fit on your belt and it actually connects to pretty much any belt that you have but you can buy their tactical belt that they sell for like $23. Um, with that being said, what's really nice about the locking mechanism is that when it is closed and the lens is facing downward, first of all, um, it's out of harm's way. So if someone comes and hits me with a boom or something, um, well, maybe harder than that, but it, you, you have less uh, possibility of actually hurting the glass itself. Um, also, when it's facing down like this, virtually nothing can unlock it. So I can turn this as much as possible and the lens is not going to fall out. The only way for the lens to fall out is to lift, turn, and then remove. So it's really part of this patented locking system that they created for the quick draw. So here's your best case scenario. You've got your nifty 50. You need something way far out there, take the nifty 50 off, up, turn, put on, and boom, you're good to go. That took what, five, six seconds, a lot quicker than trying to rummage through your bag. All right, so that is the quick draw by Riley Kimball. Now he has two versions, one for Canon EOS and others for Nikon F mounts. And, um, you know, I have the Canon and it has worked great for the past week or so that I've tried it. Mind you, you need to have at least two of these to work out if you have multiple lenses. Trying to share one with multiple lenses, even just two lenses, does not work out. You're still fumbling. And they even put that in the FAQs on the Kickstarter page. So that's my own fault. But yeah, you're buying at least two of them. They each cost about $85. It's a little pricey, but we're in a business where a lot of the accessories are for cameras 
are a little pricey. So we kind of got the you know got used to it. Maybe maybe not, but uh, just be aware of that if you want to get into the quick draw system. Also, like I said, you don't have to use your own belt, um, but this can hold about 20 pounds of weight when it comes to the different lenses. So however heavy your lens is, it might break your belt. So that's why they have the tactical belt for 23 bucks. And um, I really just want to show you guys one more time how the locking system works. You've got your lens here and you just match it up with the indicator here to lock it in place. You turn. And then it falls down, facing the ground. When it's facing the ground, even if you turn the lock, it's not going to fall out. You could shake it. You could rumble it. You could try to just unlock it from the mount here. But the only way to unlock it is to put it back up into its upright position. Then turn it. One more time, just the way that you would turn on the camera, and then release. I think this is a very, very cool system. Um, just get two, at least, and uh, maybe get get the belt if you <coughs> if you really need it. For more information, go to quickdraw.com. Now that's quick draw without a C, so that's Q U I K D R A W dot com. And uh, congratulations to Mr. Kimball. I know he had a couple of hiccups getting it out into production and to the assembly line and this and that. It's here. It's now. He's sending it out to the backers, which is really awesome. Thank you very much. And if you guys have any questions or comments concerning the quick draw system, let us know in the comments here on the YouTube channel um, or in the article on LazyTechGuys.com. So you guys have a good day, good evening, good luck, good bears? No, I don't know. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.